Hello boys and girls. So this week we are working on alphabet books, ABC books. And I'm going to read you a book today about zoo animals. It is called ABC Zooborns. So it is gonna have a, an animal for each letter of the alphabet that lives at the zoo or you might see at the zoo. And this book is by Andrew Blyman and Chris Eastland. A is for anteater. I slurp up snacks with my extra long tongue. Anyone for ants? Yum. I would want to eat ants. B is for baboon. Bananas are the best and this one's all mine. C is for cheetah. You found my secret hiding place. Shh, don't tell. So B is for baboons and C is for cheetah. D is for dole. Don't you wish your peepers were as dreamy as mine? This is a dole. Look at those pretty blue eyes. D is for dole. E is for elephant. We elephants love playing ball. Heads up, it's my turn to kick. F is for flamingo. My fluffy gray feathers will soon turn pink, just like my papa's. So E is for elephant and F is for flamingo. I love elephants and I love flamingos too. What's your favorite zoo animal? I wonder if it's in this book. G is for giraffe. I may be six feet tall, but next to mom, I'm still tiny. For now, that is. Look at this cute baby giraffe. So cute. Oh, this is my favorite animal ever. Can you guess? It starts with H. Can you guess what my favorite animal is that starts with H? <laughs> H is for hippopotamus, calling all water babies. It's playtime in my pool. I is for impala. Our long legs are perfect for leaping. Let's go for a run. So H is for hippopotamus and I is for impala. J is for jaguar. I'm on the prowl for some grub. Is it dinner time? K is for koala. I was born to cuddle. Mom's furry hug is just so snug. So J is for jaguar and K is for koala. L is for lion. So sleepy, eyes droopy. Love my furry crash pad. You go to the Peoria Zoo, which is nearby, you can see lions there, they have them. M is for marmoset. Please don't tell anyone I'm monkeying around with my food. N is for Nyala. Sometimes I nuzzle mama when I feel shy. O is for otter. We otter boys are sneaky. Better watch out, we might sneak up on you. Otters you can see if you go to Wildlife Prairie Park. They have otters there, river otters there. P is for panda. Phew, I'm flat out pooped from playing with my panda pals. Q is for quail. Even at my puffiest, I'm still quite petite. R is for rhinoceros. We wrinkly rhinos are on the move. Follow us to the local watering hole. S is for sloth. Yawn. Is it siesta time yet? 
siesta means nap in Spanish. Rhinoceros for R, sloth for S. T is for, I never know how to pronounce this word. I'm not sure, I think it's tapir, tapir, I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll say it's tapir. T is for tapir. Well, hello there. I thought I smelled something sweet. U is for Ural Owl. I wonder what's for dinner. Mice would be nice. V is for Vicuña. Mama loves sniffing and smooching my silky soft fur. So this Vicuña looks kind of like a, um, a llama sort of animal, something like that. <clears throat> w is for Wombat. After a big day of digging, I'm all tuckered out. X is for X-ray tetra. Attention science students, my see-through body is very revealing. W, or excuse me, Y is for yak. Time for me to kick up my heels and hightail it home. See y'all later. And Z is for zooborns. Look at all those zooborns. Lots and lots of zoo animals, moon baby animals at the zoo. I hope you enjoyed this read aloud and that you're loving ABC Me.